welcome back to my channel guys so today i thought that i would do a video just reflecting on the highlights that i had for january and then talk about what's to come for february and discuss a couple of things that i will be using for february so first things first i did sit down and i had a couple of highlights for myself for january um, one of those highlights is I wanted to stay in one planner for um, the entire year, but I did manage to stay in this planner for one month. Um, I reassessed my planning system, and um, I have to say that I really enjoyed being in this planner, and I don't know if that's because of how things are set up in here, um, but I really did enjoy being in this planner and so far I don't have any means to move out of this planner from time to time I do get bored and I do think about like other systems, but I really like having a zipped binder I feel like everything is like closed up and just like kept so neatly together that I probably can't use a planner anymore that's not zipped as my main planner because I'm just I'm just so comfortable with everything being like all zipped up. But that was one of my highlights for this month. Also, I wanted to post more on Instagram and I think this month was the first month of all the months I've had my account. Um, I have posted the most content on my Instagram, so I was pretty proud about that. Um, I did write down some things that didn't work for me. So I have a project section in my planner, and I'll flip to a clean uh, project sheet. So I have a project or project section in my planner, and I came to the realization that it didn't work for me as well as I had intended. Um, mainly because I think of how the layout is, how you uh, have a title for the project up at the top, and then there's this grid here in the middle where you can write like or draw a sketch. And then you have a section here which I've went through and covered up for the most part on all of the inserts that are in my planner which would be like a fax or some sort. And then on the back of every insert, you get what is like a comment section and then also another supplier's type phone number type thing. Um, I think that these are better suited for someone who does like a lot of work projects, maybe an architect or someone in design, maybe someone who has to do things that involve suppliers or other people where you work with other people as far as multiple projects or you're working on a project together with multiple people but as far as like single use like just myself um these inserts don't necessarily work too well um so a couple of things i may be changing because i have a stack that's literally this big that i purchased um and just a disclaimer, I didn't actually know that uh, this, the pack that I bought, I didn't know these project sheets were like this when I first bought them because originally I bought them because they had came with, um, where are they? They came with monthlies. They came with these, these monthly inserts, and it also came with a few timed um, appointment sheets. If I if I think they're in here, they should be in here. They came with a like a stack of these appointment sheets also. So when you think about the terms of like them mentioning project sheets, I'm thinking they're gonna be just like regular old project sheets, but no, they are intended for like work purposes. What I think I will do because I have so many of them is I think I will go through a whiteout um, and just kind of rearrange how um, I want to use these inserts. If you guys have any suggestions, if you've seen, you know, my layout, my description of these 
inserts that I showed before. If you have any suggestions on how you might use an insert like this, please let me know in the comments um, because I will be taking these out and probably playing around with different ways to utilize them because I don't want to waste something that I spent so much money on. They were not cheap at all. Um, also, um, some things, some things that didn't work for January is using this binder as a wallet. This is a personal rings and as you can probably tell, it is a little bit bigger than like your typical personal rings binder and that's solely because it's a zip around one, but it's two zip arounds. So you have your uh, front zip around and then you have this one in the back here so it can get a little bit bulky mind you I have a lot of inserts in here these are 25 millimeter rings so I have quite a bit in here and so with all of my inserts and then the zippers combined this kind of gets really bulky really fast and really heavy and I think it would work great if you solely intend to just carry this binder by itself or if you have a zip binder very similar if you're just carrying this binder by itself then yes I think that that would work but if you are intending to use a purse in conjunction with this and you're pulling it in and out and then you have to unzip I think you will get really tired of doing that very very fast and that's kind of what happened to me um, mind you I love the fact that everything is here like everything is here I really don't need to carry my purse um, if I'm gonna like just pay bills or something most of our bills are online anyway but if I'm gonna go out and like go to the bank or go to like a store where I have to use like my planner to reference or something like that, then just carrying this by itself will work. But if I just wanna carry it to so just carry it like any other wallet, it kinda gets very, very heavy, very, very fast. So in conjunction with that, I will be switching into a wallet planner um, I did purchase a Moterm A7 rings planner and also purchased 30 millimeter rings to go in it. And I know I just purchased a planner from Filofax like last week, but I'm actually going to switch out of that and move into the Moterm once I get it. It's going to be a while before I get it, so um, I will switch into that once it has been arrived or delivered what <laughs> once it has been delivered um but yeah that's that's the only uh thing that didn't work as far as like those two the project sheets and using this as a wallet um what are some things to look forward for the new month so one of the things i want to do um this month is break down my tasks more so i write a lot of tasks in these sheets here and I'll go to the current day. I write a lot of tasks in these sheets and kind of somewhat of the time, I don't kind of go into detail as far as these tasks. I kind of just say stuff like um, pack personal bag, but I don't kind of go into the steps of what do I need to do to pack that personal bag? So today, because we leave Friday, I actually need to sit down and pack like my tech bag and like my cameras and stuff because I do intend to vlog our Sweden and Denmark trip for you all. I do intend to vlog that. So I have all of my SD cards. And if you don't believe me, I'll kind of sit my iPad there. If you don't believe me, I have my whole tech bag ready. I'll just move this out of the way. I'm so, so sorry. This is my entire tech bag full of chargers, goodies, SD cards, portable stuff. I have it all set up for you guys so that I can vlog it for you. I am new to vlogging. I've never vlogged a day in my life besides that one little or two little couple of videos that I did earlier on my channel. 
um, last year, but I I have not vlogged an entire trip in my entire life or vlogged my entire day. I've just kind of done snippets. And so I will be challenging myself to do that for you all. I hope you enjoy uh, seeing Sweden and Denmark when we do vlog it. But um, so there's a couple of things I need to do to get all of this stuff together. And so one of the things I wanna do this month is I wanna break down my goals so that I don't miss a beat when it comes to packing. So that is that is a goal for this month. Though I don't have it set out here, but I need to kind of set it up. Um, a couple of things that I've added this month also is, um, let's see. So you all know, if you don't know, if you haven't been following me for um, since the beginning, um, I wrote down a bunch of pregnancy notes um, earlier last year or later last year, right around the time that I was pregnant. And I wrote down a couple of symptoms and signs to kind of warn myself of because I ended up having a miscarriage last July. And so this month marks the seventh month um, since I've had my miscarriage. And so we are trying to have a baby again. We are gonna try for one again. So I know most people don't have this in their planners, but I have a tracker in here for ovulation. So I am going to try and go the um, natural route first. And if this route doesn't work, then I will move on to something else. So this might be beneficial to someone who hasn't thought about doing this. This might be beneficial to the moms or moms-to-be who are trying to conceive. So I have a tracker in here for ovulation and all I did was hole punch it and I put slits in it so I didn't have to open the rings, but all I did was hole punch it and stick it in here. It has a strips for the sticking area so you can write down if it was negative, positive. Um, I tested twice this morning just to kind of try it out. I'm only on cycle day eight, so I tested this out. I'm not ovulating yet, so of course these are going to be negative, but I would have never known that um, unless I tracked. Um, also, I'm keeping notes to better understand my cycle also and keeping the dates and times of when I do um, check for ovulation. Obviously, it has this in here, which just says sex. Um, obviously, I'm not going to write down on camera whether or not I did it with my husband. I will do that off camera, but I thought that I would show you this while it's still fairly blank because once I start filling it in, um, I probably won't share it anymore because it will be very private to me. So I have an ovulation tracker in here. Um, also, the other thing that I added in here, um, and I changed these dividers, by the way. I said that I would, and I definitely did. I put slits in everything for the most part because I didn't want to open the rings. So I redid my goals, and I redid like my routines on the back because I didn't mention that they changed. I just used those sticky notes that I have, those... Um, to do sticky notes that I have and I just stuck them back back and back or back to back and then laminated them, cut slits in them and now I can just move them around as I feel. And then this is just laminate sheet that I just am using as a divider so to speak and all I did was cut slits in it as well and put one of those um, adhesive vinyl laminates on it. And I actually ran this through my laminator with the adhesive vinyl and um, it didn't do anything as far as like damage it, but it smoothed it out and it also made it like very like almost like it was a part of this. But yeah, back on track guys, back on track. 
Um, the other thing that I added in here was a sleep tracker. So I didn't fill out for today, but I added a sleep tracker and I debated on keeping this in here because it's completely different color paper than the rest of my paper in my planner. I'm one of those people who has to have white on white. I can't have white and cream together. So, um, I can completely debated on keeping it in here but I need this because I've been suffering from insomnia for a while like at least two months three months or so now and um when I see my doctor when I talk to my doctor I need to be able to reference my sleep patterns um to see if they can kind of figure out why am I having trouble sleeping at night. But all this is, is, and I cut slits in this too, but all this is, it's, it's all the days and the times. And so it goes from 7, 7 p.m. to 12 a.m., then 12 a.m. to 8 on this first sheet. And then when you flip it over, it goes from um, 8 a.m. to um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then these are like the days where you t the time of the day where you typically be up and then it picks back up in the evening at 7 through 11 and then the cycle just repeats itself so I'm using this as pink is the actual times that I was sleep and anything that is grayed out is the time that I was actually up so that's how I'm using it. So far, um, I've been getting like a consistent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hours of sleep when I do sleep. Um, this morning, I went to bed at, let's see. I can actually do this while it's fresh in my memory. So this morning, I actually, or last night, I should say, I went to bed at like... 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I think I went to bed at like 9. And I slept until 5. Um, and I didn't go back to sleep. And I know I just used purple, but I couldn't find my pink one. As long as it's somewhere along the pink lines, I know what it is. But, um, yeah. So, I went to bed at like 9 and I slept to 5. And I think I might take a nap today. Um, so at some point I will write down that I took a nap, but that's pretty much how I'm using my sleep tracker. Um, beyond all of that, I don't really have anything else for you guys. I just wanted to give you a little February update. Um, I am using my journal. So I mentioned that I would use my journal a lot more, um, for like, you know, just regular stuff. I kind of went through and um, at the time when I showed you guys this, I had only had like two entries in here. I'll get back in frame. I only had like two entries in here and I've kind of just went through and just like watercolor the pages. Um, I've glued things in. I've, you know, did more watercoloring. And then this would be today's spread that I have not worked on yet, but I am getting around to it. So these are my two planning and journaling companions for January. Again, I'm trying to keep it really light and really simple. Um, I don't want to add too many things to my system because then that's when I get flustered and I can't contain what's going on. But yeah, if you like the video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Again, if you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me um, to keep producing content for you all when I see that you like the videos. So as always, guys, have a good rest of your day. And also, if it's morning, have a good rest of your morning. Bye.